The more that we connect our lives to the internet, the more we risk that data falling into the wrong hands. Public networks are great for convenience, but there's no way to be sure that your information is secure while you're checking emails or browsing the web. And streaming video providers often control where you can watch the content you pay for. In today's weekend project by Tony Gaitatsis, we'll take a Raspberry Pi, a couple of Wi-Fi USB dongles, and a power supply, and build a portable VPN Tor router that encrypts your traffic and protects your privacy, no matter what network you're using. The router is small and portable, so you can plug it into anywhere, adding secure internet browsing to any occasion, from your work to the cafe. You can even connect Wi-Fi devices that don't support VPN, like Chromecast or Pebble. You'll start by flashing the Raspbian OS to an SD card and setting up your Pi. And be sure to have the Pi boot directly to the command line environment. If you need help doing this, check out the project page for detailed instructions. If you intend to connect your router via Wi-Fi, you'll need to take some time to configure it. There are a number of different Wi-Fi network and configuration types, and all are configured differently in Linux, so take time to make sure it's all working properly before moving on to the next step. Update Raspbian and then install host APD. We'll be using a custom version that supports the Wi-Fi dongles that we're using in this build. Configure and then start the host APD service and then set it up so it starts automatically when the Pi boots. Then install and configure DNS mask, a DHCP server, so the Pi can generate an IP address when we connect to it. Be sure to check the project page for detailed instructions on these configurations. Next, we'll be setting up our Pi to use VPN and Tor. Between the two, VPN is more difficult to set up. You need access to a dedicated VPN server. There are some that you can access for free, but it's important to be sure that the VPN server is secure and handles your data appropriately. Alternatively, you can build your own. On the other hand, Tor is much easier to set up. However, it is a much slower protocol and your network performance will take a significant hit. If you use Tor, you will also need to install the Tor browser on the computer you'll be browsing from. Our Raspberry Pi is nearly complete, but we need to set up routing to make sure that our network traffic is properly addressed and encrypted. Once that's done, connect to the router via Wi-Fi. Once built, any Wi-Fi device has a passive VPN connection. If the VPN connection disconnects, so does your connection to the internet, guaranteeing that unencrypted data is no longer leaked. Enjoy setting up your very own secure, portable Wi-Fi router. Be sure to hit subscribe for more weekend projects, and share your own Pi builds in the comments below.